Okay, what we're going to do here with part two. I'm going to show you some basic principles, okay? Of things, of, of how things just operate. And this is one of the reasons why a lot of carpenters, when they're doing mixed pitches, they have a hard time trying to figure out and get the theory down of why the rafters are not lining up or even how to line them up. So with that said, let's just jump right into it. Now I'm gonna show you something here. We're gonna show you something here. I'm gonna draw this line here. Okay. And I'm going to show you a principle. That as it relates to roof cutting, you're going to live and die by. All right? So we got a, a little right angle triangle, okay? We got our level, our plumb, and we got our hypotenuse, okay? Now, we already know that we're dealing with a 712 and a 1212 pitch. Okay? According to this, this is our 712 side, this is our 1212 side. And this this side represents the 1212 side. The jacks that's going to go on this side and the jacks that go on this side. Okay? The, which is the 712 side. So, what we want to see is the differential on this on this roof right here, we're gonna have a 16 inch overhang. We're not gonna make it 16.5, we're just gonna make it 16 inches, just for illustration purposes. Okay, so we know that, yeah, I'm gonna do it like this. We're gonna go do it like this. This is 12 inches here, all right? 12 inches if my hands will cooperate with me this is a 12 inch run and this is 12 inch of rise okay okay so it's a one-to-one -one ratio of rise to run and run to rise all right one-to-one -one ratio now this pitch here, this this slope here, represents 12-12. Forgive my writing. That's 12-12. But now, we're going to go 12 inches, but we're going to write the 7-12 inside of this. So let's just say, from here to there is a 7-12 pitch. All right. So the 712 pitch is a lower slope. You can see it's lower than this. This is higher, this is lower. All right? But it's still going one foot. But this time, from here to here is only seven inches. But from here to here is 12 inches. So we're gonna write seven inches for this space right here from here to here all right we'll put a little bracket here all right and 12 12 12 inches is this one here so we write another bracket a larger bracket and it doves tail into that one okay so this is 12 12 this is 12 inches and this is seven inches now watch this. You can see right away that from the, the ground zero, the beginning point, this is where both of those marks meet. But the further you go out, the wider it gets. That is very key. This is one of the reasons why guys can't line their rafters up because they don't understand this concept. They don't have a clear view of this. What I'm drawing here is some fascia. You can say it's subfacial or facial, whatever. Okay. 
This is the fascia. Okay, I put the X there just to let you know that that's the end of a two by whatever, two by four, two by six, two by eight, whatever. All right, so you see that the plywood is going to meet right here. All right, it's going to meet right here. So we got a 12 12, and now we're going to write in our 7 12, representing this slope. 12 12 represents this slope, 7 12 represents this slope. Now watch this. Since we're going to go 16 inches, we're going to have a 16 inch overhang. We're not going to have a one foot overhang. What we have to do is add four more inches to this. So what we're going to do is this. And this this space here is going to represent a 16 inch overhang. And they all, all the angles have to meet up together. See that? So now from here to here, yes, that's 12 inches. Okay, so we're going to draw a little bracket. That's 12 inches, okay? The arrow is pointing the other way, but you get the point. But from here to here is 16 inches. So this is 16 inches from the outside all the way to the building line okay and the building line would run all the way down since this is a uh, that's the overhang that's the building line so you got 16 inches here all right now what we have to determine is how far is What's the difference between the 712 and the 1212 on a 16 inch run? Let's figure it out first on a 12 inch run, which is here. If the overhang was only 12 inches, what would be the difference between the 12 and the seven? And to get that, you just multiply seven from 12 and it's five. So we know that the space from here to here is five inches in one foot. So that means that your plate height for your 12 12 side has to be built up five inches. Okay? It has to be built up five inches. So we're going to put five inches here. Five inches. And we're going to put a little bracket here so you know that this represents five inches the space from here to here but now you see that the space is wider when you go out 16 inches so how do you figure that I'm going to show you an easy way to figure this on the calculator and hopefully you'll be able to see this really good with uh, you know the visibility of this calculator is good so my hands really not working this that well today but let's see this I'm going to turn this on, clear it out. Okay. What you do, the way you do this is this way. You go 7 divided by 12 equals. No, I said I multiply it. 7 divided by 12 equals. Okay, 0.8. Point five eight three. That's the answer, right? 
Now what we want to do is multiply this number by 16 because that's how much overhang we got times 16 equals. So it's 9.333. So in when you go out 16 inches, the distance from here to here is 9.333. So we're going to put 9.333. Three, three inches all right now we already know that for every inch of run that you're going out you're going up an inch so this one is real easy because it's a one-to-one -one ratio so if you if you're going out 16 inches on a 12 12 pitch that means you're going up 16 inches so we know that this right here is 16 inches we could 16 inches Point zero zero zero. Now what you do is you subtract 9.333 from 16 inches. Okay? And that's going to give you 6.666 6 That's 6.666 6 6 is the difference between a 712 pitch and a 1212 pitch in 16 inches. So the difference from here to here is 6.666. Now, this is very, very, very crucial. If you're going to have, if you're going to do, do anything with mixed pitch, bastard pitches or anything like that, you, you, you got to get this down. So what you do, we're going to go back to our other sheet here. Now that we got that illustration out the way. You take that 6.666, and that's the difference between the height on the 712 side and the 1212 side. See, the 1212 side sits at a higher, on a higher elevation than the 712 side in order for the tails to meet. So we're going to plug this 6.666. Inches here. Now, what we have to do now, what we have to do is subtract 6.666 from 13559. So let's do that 6.666 minus 13.559 equals okay. We got Six, so that means from here to here is six point eight nine three inches. All right, and it's going to be the same thing here because this is the twelve twelve side, and it's a one to one ratio. So we already know that the the height of this is six point. Eight, nine, three inches. Okay, we want to make sure that we know what's inches and what's foot, feet, and all that. Now we want to change these inches into feet, and the way you do that is divide it by twelve. Because I want you to see that you divide it by twelve equals. Okay. Okay, 5.574 feet. 0.574 feet. Now, we already know that our overhang is 16 inches. All right? We know that our overhang is 16 inches. So let's do this right quick. We know it's 16 inches, and I'm gonna draw this line here, and this this little extension line that I'm drawing is to represent. This extension line is the overhang, okay? Now, we, 16 inches. 
Well, we, what we're going to do is store this number in the calculator. The way you store in the calculator, you just press store one. And, and it's stored in the, 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 it's stored into the calculator. You got three places. You can press store one, store two, store three. So you got three places you can store a number. So what we're going to do is take this number. Uh oh. We want to take this number. Oh, wait, we'll clear it because it's already stored in the calculator. Now, what we want to do is this. 16, we want to see what 16 inches is in feet because this measurement is in feet. Okay? Or you could just say 16 plus 6.893, but I, I normally don't do it that way. So 16 divided by 12 equals. So that's turning 16 inches into feet is 1.333 plus 0.574, which is in the memory to bring it back, bring it the memory back up. This plus the, what's in the memory, which is recall one equals 1.097. So we're going to put that here 1.907. Right? And that's feet. That's most definitely feet that we're dealing with. All right. Now, the other thing we want to do is solve for this side here. Now, we already know that 16 inches divided by 12 is 1.333. So, what we do is 1.1. Point three 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 plus one point nine three seven equals and the answer is three point two seven. So three point two seven. Now, these two measurements are very, very important. And yes, this is feet, okay? What this does is give you an overall run all the way to the subfascia. That's what these two measurements here do, all the way to the subfascia. These measurements are just to the building line, but this is to the subfascia. And this is another reason why uh, a lot of people are not able to figure these rules out because they be trying to figure it out from the building line. And then the other issue is that they don't know the math behind this kind of stuff, the science and the theory behind it. So what you do, once you get uh, 3.27 and you got your one point. 907 what you do is you divide this number by this okay because yeah you divide this by this and I'm going to show you how that so you get we already got that in the calculator we divide it by 1.907 and it equals 1.714 okay 1.714 okay that's your secant when you get this number here then you take this number and multiply it by that number and when you do those two multiply this one by that it's going to give you the length to this one alright so let's do that times 0.574 equals Point nine eight four, and that's feet. Now, if we want to change this to feet to inches, you just multiply it by twelve, and that gives you eleven point eight one one. My writing is getting better as I go along here. All right. So, now that you have this going, we're going to stop right here, and we're going to do part three next.